In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and there was a white cloud. And sitting <clears throat> on the cloud, one who looked like a son of man, with a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Another angel came out of the temple crying out in a loud voice to the one sitting on the cloud, Use your sickle and reap the harvest, for the time to reap has come, because the earth's harvest is fully ripe. So the one who was, waiting, who was sitting on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, who also had a sharp sickle. Then another angel came from the altar, who was in charge of the fire, and cried out in a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, Use your sharp sickle and cut the clusters from the earth's vines, for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle over the earth and cut the earth's vintage. He threw it into the great wine press of God's fury. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Please stand.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the day will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they ask him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified. For such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Apat na pong taon nung sinabi ni Jesus yung ating napakinggan sa Ebanghelyo nangyari yung pagkawasak ng templo ng Jerusalem. Hindi lang yung templo, yung buong lunsod ng Jerusalem nawasak po siya. What Jesus prophesied in today's gospel about the destruction of the temple happened in 70 AD. Remember that all of Israel was part of, occupied by the Roman army. It was part of the Roman Empire. Merong pag-aalsa ng mga Hudyo. Kaya ang ginawa ng imperyo ng Roma, nilusob yung lunsod, sinira yung templo, sa panahon na ang general ay si Titus. Titus also became a Roman emperor. And so, beginning then would start the diaspora, the dispersion of the Jews. And from that time, Israel was renamed by the Romans to become the province of Palestine. Walang katapusan po yung sagupaan sa lugar na iyan hanggang ngayon. Kaya ano ang templo para sa mga Hudyo? It was their center, nerve center. It was the heart of the Jewish nation. Ito ang kalagitnaan ng kanilang mundo. Ito yung himpilan, himpilan ng kanilang kawal. Ito yung kanilang bangko sentral. Ito yung sentro ng kanilang ekonomiya. Ito ang sentro ng kanilang buhay pampolitika. Maliban na ito yung kalagitnaan ng kanilang buhay religyoso, their religious, their prayer life. Bakit nga ba? What we learned in the Old Testament from the first and second books of Kings, from the first and second books of Chronicles, God himself designed that temple. He chose the building materials. He commanded that this temple be built. And that is why, for the Jews, the temple in Jerusalem is God's office. His God's it's God's residence on earth. Kaya mahalaga sa kanila. At dahil kanyayan ng Diyos, hindi ho yan mawawasak. It was indestructible. And in the mind of the Jews, the destruction of the temple is unthinkable. Because for them, being the center of their universe, 
it was built on the navel, pusod ng mundo, at lahat ng mundo umiikot sa templo. But then, that temple was destroyed. So, when Jesus saw people were gawking, admiring the temple that was at that time being reconstructed, he commented, sabi niya, yung nakikita ninyo, lahat ng yan mawawala. Lahat ng yan mawawasak. There will be no stone left on top of another. Lahat ng yan masisira. And so in the mind of the Jews, hindi mangyari yun. Ngunit kung mangyari yun, kailan? Ano ang mga palatandaan na mawawasak yung templo? You would know, we would know that our Lord made a comment in the version of this event in John's Gospel. Jesus would say, oh, you destroy this temple after three days, I will build a new temple. Hindi niya sinabing, o oh, maibabalik ko yung wawasaking templo. Ang ibig niyang sabihin, magpapatayo ako ng bago. And John, our evangelist, who was recording this event, comments that Jesus was referring to his person. He was referring to his body as the new temple. Bakit nga ba isinulat ni San Lucas yung ating napakinggang ebanghelyo ngayon? Ito po ang ipinangako para sa mga nagbabasa, nakikinig kay San Lucas sa kaniyang <clears throat> pagkukwento sa pangyayaring ito. It is to assure the followers of the Lord that although they were experiencing persecution of apocalyptic proportions under the Roman emperors and the Jews beyond these tribulations and upheavals, there is a future full of hope that there would be a world that will not end. It will not end in meaninglessness. It will not end in nothingness. Halimbawa, sinabi ng Panginoon, nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Tandaan po natin na sa buong kasaysayan ng sangkatauhan, ni isang saglit ng kasaysayan natin ang hindi nangyayari ito. Nangyayari ito. Wala pa si Jesus, hindi pa nagkatawang tao, ang Diyos. Nung panahon na isinilang at nabuhay, naglalakad siya sa ating sangkalupaan. At sa kaniyang pagsapit, nangyayari na ito. Isipin na lang natin kung ilang mga gyera o sagupaan ang nangyari sa ating kasaysayan. Marami. Binanggit ni Jesus ang daming mga lindol mangyayari. Ngunit sa panahon niya, nangyari din iyon. And we would notice that no church existed from the apostolic times, from the times of the apostles. For the simple reason that aside from wars, Areas where our Lord lived have active geologic faults and are prone to seismic activities. Kaya may lindol talaga kahit saan man. Kahit saan man sa lupalok na ito. Yung nilindol yung aming lalawigan, October of 2013. Dalawang putlimang mga simbahan na wasak ngayon na itayo na lahat. Ang sabi ng mga seismologists, kailangan merong lindol. Dahil ibig sabihin yan na yung ating mundo, yung ating sangkalupaan ay buhay na buhay. Pinanggit ng ating Panginoon ang taggutom. Merong taggutom sa panahon ng lumang tipan. Hindi lang sa panahon niya. Sa lumang tipan at magkakaroon ng taggutom. Hindi po ba sa ating mundo ngayon may taggutom doon, doon sa Afrika? Kahit saan merong taggutom, kahit dito sa atin, yung mga naninirahan sa lansangan, alam natin, nagugutom din sila. In their own way, they are experienced personal famine. So what Jesus portrays, persecution, earthquakes, famine, include their typhoon, It is a general description of events that can fit any period of human history. 
kahit anong panahon ng ating kasaysayan, angkop na angkop yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. So, Jesus' concern is not to predict these events because they are bound to happen. They had happened. They will continue to happen. And so, his concern was to develop at length what Christian disciples must have during these periodic, frequent cycles of persecutions, of global upheavals. Dapat meron tayong perspective. Ika nga, ano ang ating paningin sa mga bagay na ito na palaging nangyayari? Na nangyayari man ito doon sa kamay ng ating may kapal. So this is why our Lord glosses over all this. He said, wag kayong matakot, don't be terrified. Wala yan. The end will not follow immediately. So he gives us wisdom. He gives us a wisdom how to face the future with peace of heart. And he tells us the future may be bleak. Pwedeng maging malabo yung kinabukasan. Ngunit yung kinabukasan na iyan ay punong-puno ng pag-asa, ng pag-asang ito ay namamalagi sa kanya lamang. Magkakaroon ng mga digmaan. Magpa- magkakaroon ng mga sagupaan. Ang ating Panginoon, hindi po ba siya ay ang ating kapayapaan? Magkakaroon man ng lindol, hindi po ba ang ating Panginoon ay ang ating muog, ang matibay na tanggulan? He is our sure foundation. Magkakaroon man ng taggutom, hindi po ba si Jesus ay ang ating pang-araw-araw na pagkain ng buhay? So there is a better world in the future. But the content of this better world is not hope. It is not hope. Hope is not our final end. Our final end is God in the person of the Lord. He is our true hope, the hope that surpasses everything. Ang ating pagwawari-wari ng ating Ibanghelyo ngayoy binubuo sa mga salita ng ating Panginoon. At ito po'y dalhin natin bilang baon sa araw na ito. Ang sabi niya, by your perseverance, you will secure your lives. Please stand. Coming together as God's people, we confidently bring our needs before the Father, confident that He will grant our requests, our reply. Father, we hope in You. Father, we hope in You. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives in preaching the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, we we hope hope in in you. You that parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, we we hope hope in you that we may try our best to do what is right and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, we we hope hope in in you. you that we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, we we hope hope in in you that the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, we we hope hope in in you. you. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Friends, pray that your and my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those, those who trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, the glory, glory are, are yours, yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Magandang tanghali, magandang buhay po sa iyo. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Our sure hope is in Jesus and is himself the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my, my roof. roof. But, but only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Please stand. Let us pray. 
We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.